Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Fidelity account holders, are you ready to take your account security to the next level? Excellent choice. In this tutorial, we will teach you how to enable two-factor authentication on your Fidelity account. With 2FA, you will add an extra layer for defense against unauthorized access and make your access to your account much more secured. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, obviously the first thing to do is to head up to the Fidelity official website, which is the fidelity.com. After you do that, we have to continue to Fidelity. And there we go. So the first thing is to actually start here or to open an account with them. So as you can see, there will be a long way to do so. So to open an account, you have uh, literally a lot of ways. So need help. Let's go, for example, with any of these accounts. So uh, RA, let's go with this one. So the account creation of Fidelity can be a little bit hard. So I might do a video about it later on if you really want me to do so. So this is how you can do it. So you go to fidelity.com and start by choosing a plan, putting your mobile number, email, etc. etc. The usual things about creating an account. So this is what you'll have to do. And in case you had an account already, that's a very very good and much better so in this area you will have to go with me both of you guys the part the people who just created an account and people who already have an account now let's move on to the second step which is basically going to the settings and making sure that the true factor authentication is turned on so here we go guys so here we have the energy card that talks about the extra login security with multi-factor authentication that is basically made by fidelity themselves so give your account security a boost and prevent unauthorized access by adding multi-factor authentication mfa at login so first way is by adding your mobile number to your profile if you own a mobile phone make sure you've added the number to your profile if you don't own a mobile phone you can have an, an automated phone call delivered to security code to an alternative phone number on your profile and then approve logins with push notification so this new option for extra security at login offers convenience and stronger security because it relies on biometrics which means your device recognizes your face and fingerprints and does not require a text or call this sends a notification to a customer's mobile device that allows them to verify their login attempt or deny it if they believe the login attempt is fraudulent now for the mfa which is push notification this is how you can turn it on so download the fidelity investment app so this is gonna be on your mobile turn on device notification and make sure you're enrolled in biometrics from there you can follow two quick steps log into either fidelity.com or netbenefit.com and access your security center select the turn on button for multi-factor authentication at log in when there is an attempt to log into from other devices they will automatically send a notification to the mobile app to inform you of the login request you will then either be able to approve or deny the request note that if you are a semantic vip access user you will need to choose between vip and push notification if you no longer want vip access associated with your login please call them at 800-544-666 and they will deactivate it for you now for the trusted devices and how does it work exactly a trusted device is basically a phone, computer, or any other device that you've already logged into using multi-factor authenticator and have asked us to remember it. Once you log in and check the don't ask me again on this device box, that device is added to their trusted device list. If you no longer wish to trust this device or if one of your devices is lost, stolen, or compromised, you can now remove previously trusted devices in the security center at any time get a one-time passcode by text or call so this is all ways of two-factor indicator guys so as an alternative option upon login choose to have fidelity send a six-digit security code directly to your phone or an alternate phone number via text or voice call the code is now a password that you need to create and remember simply enter the one-time code you receive to verify it's you how can i get a code simply log into either fidelity.com 
or netbenefit.com and access your security center. Select the turn on button for two-factor authentication and login and that is it. Now for the 2FA by Semantic VIP Access app, throughout uh, their partnership with Semantic, use Semantic's free validation and ID protection VIP Access app which is generate which generates a randomized signature code on your mac pc or mobile phone each time you attempt to log in and you can learn about these two uh fox authentication vip uh, access so this is only for vip user guys so put that in your mind you can't really follow these steps if you're not a vip throughout their partnership with semantic fidelity offers you free use of semantic validation and id protection if you don't know what is semantic it is kind of like uh antivirus or something like that so you could use it to actually save your account as well so this tool which is helps you a lot uh, to free use of uh, semantic validation and id protection vip access app will generate a randomized six digit code on your mac pc or mobile phone each time you attempt to log in to complete your login you will then promote it prompt to enter the code from your vip app which is valid for 30 seconds if you use financial aggreg uh, aggregators such as quicken to view your account enabling vip access may prevent the aggregator from updating your account information now for how it works exactly it's pretty simple so the vip access token app can be installed on one device only so we recommend install it on device you access frequently then such as for example your mobile phone or pc and then simply download the app so here you have the links for iphone ipods ipad android phones or tablets mac or PC. For the step two, it is basically simple. So once you've installed the application, just call them and then they will activate it for you. So it is pretty easy now, pretty simple. And if you do have any B, uh, can I use uh, like uh, how do I get VIP? How do I get VIP access? Well, it's all about calling them and managing with them how to do so. Now, for the download for PC, for example, let me show you how. You simply have to click on the link and they will take you to this page where you can download the app itself. So, you have to be having Semantic, guys. And by Semantic, you you don't really have to get the premium version as long as you are a member of fidelity you will be able to use the semantic uh, free for for free uh, as, as i said you have the fidelity membership with them all get as you can see fidelity offers you free use of semantic validation and id protection so you will not get the antivirus or something like that but only this side of the validation and id protection so this is it this is how you can turn on the 2fa factor authentication in your fidelity account i hope you guys enjoyed it if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye